this lesson, we're going to look at how to search and filter through your contact records to stay organized. Let's dive right into the screen share. So from the contacts page, we want to filter and search contact information. So this is quite simple. The contact records are all displayed in this grid, and this is called a list. Within this list, we're able to add new columns by clicking on the columns. So if I want to bring in the business name and the city, I can do so like that. And then of course I could quickly search. So if I was looking for, hmm, I know that someone has data marketer in their email address. I'm going to type that in and it will give me those search results. Hovering over, clicking a little clipboard on any of these where it's available, we'll copy it to the clipboard, which makes it super simple to go off into a different application, use the information if you need to. Let's say I wanted to then filter this information. And let's say I wanted to filter the information where the phone numbers were known. So I would go filters and I would look for the column that I want to apply a filter to. And then I would say something like is not empty and apply. And that would give me everybody that has a phone number. Now, when you apply filters, you're also able to create these filters as dedicated lists. So if I was to click save as a smart list, I would name that contacts with a phone number. When you do that, you can save the smart list. Saving the smart list then creates that list across the top here as an easy way to navigate through to a list with those filters already pre-applied. If you're an administrator, you then have the ability to manage smart lists. So looking at contacts with a phone number here, which is a list I just created, I can then click on manage smart list and I can edit the name and I can share it. So sharing it would go, well, who do you want to share this list with? And I can share it with all users of the system or specific users of the system. That's it for this lesson. See you in the next one.